welcome to the pulse demonstration of solar powered multi level inverter so in this project we are going to recharge this battery with the help of solar panel as well as with the help of the uh, transformer so the transformer will provide us the 12 volts ac by taking 230 volts ac inputs so this is a secondary source of charging the battery whenever the sunlight is not available so generally like the full fledged project is we need to connect the solar panel at this trs slot so connect over here and from the battery the b slot so this is a charging circuit so it will provide us the 12 volts dc output so pure dc output as we are uh, using rectification and filtration so when we providing the dc input from the solar panel then this four diodes will act as a polarity corrector means if we uh, reverse by if we connect this solar panel reverse direction then uh, this four diodes will rectify that to plus to plus minus to minus so directly that was given through the another two diodes to this bug boost converter so this boost converter in our project we are using this as a boost converter means whenever the voltage is above 8 volts and below 12 volts then our boost converter will boost that voltage to 14.5 volts because our battery need 14.5 volts then only it will can be fully charged as we are using 12 volt 2 amp battery so coming to this battery pack so there three 4 volt 1 amp batteries are connected in series so we will get 12 volt 1 amp and these two are connected in parallel so that we will get 12 volts 2 amps power supply right so now the sufficient voltage given to the battery then it will be fully charged so generally the time for charging is when we place the solar panel or a transformer so it will take 8 to 10 hours then the battery will be fully charged in the duration once the battery is fully charged uh, these two diodes are stop the current flow from the battery to the charging circuit in reverse like in uh, to the transformer or solar panel so here as we discuss the microcontroller when we switch on the kit it start measuring the input voltage from the this charging circuit whether it is a solar panel or a transformer and also the output voltage of this boost converter so when is uh, boost up till uh, we reaches the 14.5 volts then it stop uh, providing the pulsating signals to this mosfet so that we are getting the constant of 14.5 volts that was given to the battery through this wires so the flow is solar panel to the charging circuits and from there to the boost converter and this boost converter will get the trigger pulses from here and in the closed loop manner our microcontroller will measure the voltage from voltage sensor 1 is the inputs 2 is the output from the boost converter and that was given parallelly to our battery and also the battery output is given to the motherboard so there is a 7805 regulator we will get 5 volts output or to the microcontroller and reset switch to restart the microcontroller crystal oscillator to provide the crystal os uh, os oscillating frequency to our microcontroller because based on the clock frequency only the controller will execute the instruction inside that and this is a main on off switch and parallelly the output is given to the our inverter so here is a multi level inverter we are using just a uh, five level inverter we are using that so the five level pulses will be generated by this ic to the two mosfets and uh, here we are converting that 12 volts dc to the 12 volts ac with the help of these two mosfets as well as our ic and after that 12 volts ac given to this step up transformer so we will get here around 220 volts of ac voltage directly which is fed to our ac load so let us see the demonstration <coughs> so we place the solar panel here and now when we switch on the kit so it is the light is on and off two times initially right so once the program got started as of now we are getting low voltage the boost circuit will work only when it's getting the 8 above volts then it can boost up to 14.5 so below 8 volts it can't boost up to the uh, 12 volts so minimum voltage required for the boost up is 8 volts and then uh, the battery was charged and after that so in order to utilize that the charged voltage from the battery through the inverter this is the on off switch so we can connect the load up to 30 watts of power so is a is actually minimum of 30 watts so better to we can use up to 60 watts also maximum 60 watts not more than that